Good evening, Cougar Navy family and friends. My name is Lieutenant Commander Steve Halpin, and I'm here tonight with Chief Steve Shepard. We'd like to welcome you to our first annual virtual JRTC award ceremony. Same great ceremony, but different times call for a different spin. So here we go. I'd like to recognize a few people as we get started. York School District 1 and YCHS staffs and administration. What you all have done and continue to do behind the scenes for ours and for other programs, as well as for our community, is above and beyond expectations. We appreciate you recognizing the needs of our JRTC families by facilitating a refund back to them for our Washington, D.C. trip. You didn't have to do that. We know it. Knowing you have what we call top cover from the corner offices means more than you know. We thank you and we truly appreciate what you're doing. Principal Poston, you've yet to waver since the initial chaotic weeks and you've got us all to the end of the semester regardless of how unusual a semester end it might be. As instructors and as parents, we appreciate you keeping us informed and for doing so with honesty, sincerity, and compassion. We thank you and we salute you. Tim Cooper, District Public Affairs. Bet this wasn't in the job description. If there's anyone's job who got turned upside down given the current situation, it was yours. You thought outside the proverbial box and continue to do so. You made adjustments and continue to impress and inform us and film us. Thanks for everything you're doing, Tim. We appreciate it. Chief Shepard, welcoming you aboard this year was easy. Your inspirational personality and high energy is a welcoming asset to this program and to the school. Your past experiences generated new ideas, and your care and desire to help others have had an immediate impact on this community. During our current situation, your positive remind message, messages always come at great times, times where many of us can use it most, myself included. We thank you for that and for everything you do for us. Bravo Zulu, Chief. Keep handling your business. Parents and guardians, your support often goes unmentioned, but it definitely doesn't go unnoticed. We appreciate it more than you know. Your support isn't just about being involved with what we do. It's about supporting us and enforcing the U.S. Navy's requirements that dictate how we run this program. Uniform maintenance and readiness come to mind. As a parent myself, I know that's not easy. So to all the parents and guardians this year, I'd like to, ascend, to extend a sincere thank you. These last few months have been unusual and challenging. I don't think you need me to stand here and tell you that for you to know it. They've also been humbling and eye-opening, and hopefully somewhat productive. Well, tonight's ceremony is about you. It's about the dedication and commitment you've put towards York's JRTC program, and also to yourself. Times are strange now, but in case you forgot, you all put forth a tremendous effort this past year and your effort was on a consistent basis and it definitely didn't go unnoticed. I said this last year and I feel that it's important enough to say again. This course isn't about who has the most ribbons or rank. It's about helping you come to terms with the fact that the response of I forgot will do you absolutely no good when trying to build a career and support a family. So it also teaches you that teamwork is paramount regardless of the personalities or circumstances. Put that all together on a consistent basis and you've got what we call a challenge. One that you all overcame. If you hear nothing else this evening, please hear this, whether your name is called tonight or not. We're extremely proud of each and every one of you. As we move forward this evening, I want to apologize in advance in case we missed something. Hopefully it won't be necessary, but, but if someone is excluded from one of our lists or there's a misspelling on the slide or mispronunciation, I assure you that it wasn't intentional. No excuses on our part. So without further ado, whatever that means, I'd like to introduce our program's new chief, Chief Steve Shepard. Thank you, Commander. As we begin, I want to point out to you guys that Commander and I have two very difficult parts of each school year. First is who's going to fill leadership positions, and second is who gets chosen for awards. They're both very difficult for us for the very same reason. You, you guys are so strong, talented, motivated, and driven that there are more of you that are deserving than there are positions or awards available. So please, if you're not chosen for an award tonight, celebrate those that were. Be happy for them and set your sights on making it you one year from now. You know, 
our current pandemic certainly has caused some changes in our lives. I'm gonna rest that moment. Yes, sir. We don't get to be with you guys, which we really miss. Also, things are slower, more mellow, like this music playing. Won't this make for a lovely ceremony? Hmm. Hold on, hold on. What's that? We're not mellow. That's not us. Sir, this is a celebration as only we can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019-2020 YCHS NJROTC Award Ceremony! All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into it. The first awards that we're going to cover tonight are the Outstanding Naval Science 1 through 4 Cadets. It's awarded annually to outstanding cadets in each Naval Science level, 1, 2, 3, and 4, based on citizenship, academic performance, personal appearance, and conduct. Let's start with the Outstanding NS1 Cadets. Peyton Binnix, Maggie Billings, Sebastian Burgess, Allison Canuck, Brittley Childers, Chantel Chisholm, Caleb Clinton, Denny Davis, Augustine Sarah Delgado, Lilon Digby, Jonathan Dodge, Landon Duncan, Isaac Eddy, Casey Frame, Darius Gabranus, Charles Gibney, Brianna Hale, Jay Hayes, Noah King, Abigail Levesque, Diego Luna, Jake McCollum, Cody Morales, Jalen Nixon, Lilia Perez, Aaliyah Perkins, Corin Prevet, Jake Rice, Melina Sadler, Brandon Shiles, Brian Wenzel, Emmanuel Wiggins, and Heaven Workman, your NS1. Outstanding cadet. Now I'm going to jump right into the NS2 outstanding cadets. Zane Abshire, Nicholas Bellotta, Allison Canup, William Carnes, Hazel Conway, Aaliyah Curry, Augustine Sara Delgado. Mark Freeman, Nate Givens, <clears throat> Kenneth Griffin, Taylor Horton, Nate Kelly, Allison Kennedy, Abigail Levake, Cody McDonald, Jake McCollum, Jonathan McKenzie, Matthew Mitchell, Kelsey Myatt, Kyla Uten, Jacob Stickle, and Zach Sweat our NS2 Outstanding Cadets. All right, moving on to the NS3 Outstanding Cadets. We have Zane Abshire, Christopher Ballotta, Will Carnes, Jordan Ellis, Joey Fox, Mark Freeman, Nate Givens, Shane Hamrick, Jordan Hargett, Aaron Jones, Nate Kelly, Haley Lee, Cody McDonald, Jonathan McKenzie, Jonathan Ramsey, Nolan Sims, Ramsey Statham, Jacob Stickle, and Zachary Sweat. Now for our NS4 Outstanding Cadets. Jordan Ellis, Joseph Fox, Jordan Hargett, Aaron Jones, and Jonathan Ramsey. Congratulations, our NS4 Outstanding Cadets. I 
I want to jump right into a senior slide. We've got senior slides uh, throughout this, this program that you'll see a little bit different than we're doing it uh, or than we did it last year, um, but I like it. So for our, our, our first senior recognized tonight is going to be Ch Cheyenne Brakefield. Cheyenne, we're going to miss your humorous personality and your great attitudes towards everything we do here in JROTC. You're always willing to help when the opportunity presents itself, and as a result, you make JROTC a better place. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to this program and your desire for you and others to succeed. Congratulations to you, Cheyenne. We're going to miss you. Thank you, and best of luck to you in the future. Fair winds and following seas. For another senior recognition, we'd like to recognize Matthew Cohen. Matt came to us in his senior year, having avoided the whole follow the rules thing during his first three years. On day one, Matt, Matt had a head of hair that, let's just say, didn't adhere to Navy regulations. Matt overcame any fears or doubts he had about the program or about himself, and not only joined JROTC, but did an outstanding job. Matt, your passion and commitment during just one semester was incredible. You did everything you needed to do to succeed in this class, and you knocked it out of the park. You have a lot to be proud of. Bravo Zulu, Matt. And congratulations. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Fair winds and following seas. All right. Thank you, Commander, for those two awesome seniors. So now we're going to move on to our Unit Service Award. The Unit Service Award is a recognition for those cadets who go above and beyond, especially in their volunteerism, for things that need to be done around the unit. These are the people that are always here. You know, it, it's like you wake up in the morning, they're sitting outside the door. When you leave, they're the last ones to go. They're those awesome kind of cadets. So with no further ado, Let's go through our awardees for unit service. Right off the bat, Aaron Jones. Allison Canup. Brianna Hill. Cody McDonald. Jonathan McKenzie. Jordan Ellis. Nate Gibbons. Nate Kelly. Will Carnes. And Zach Sweat, your Unit Service Award recipients. Now our next award is the Aptitude Award. The Naval Service Training Command defines aptitude as performance of duty, leadership, bearing, dress, and attitude as manifested by interest, motivation, and cooperation. This ribbon is awarded annually to cadets who demonstrate exceptional aptitude and dedication to the Cougar, Navy, and JROTC program. Our first aptitude award winner, Jay Hayes. Kadarius Cook. Michael Booth, Peyton Biddix, Stephen Sanchez, and Zane Abshire. This year's Aptitude Award winners. to recognize another senior. 
At this time, I'd like to rest, recognize Preston Yang. Preston Yang is one of the smartest guys I know who doesn't think so. He has a great time in everything we do, but it's tough to get him to admit it. Seemed like every semester, Preston was on the fence whether or not to return to ROTC, but he always did. And he did well. Preston was a stellar cadet and an amazing teammate during his time in ROTC. His integrity is through the roof, his personality is always positive, and his willingness to help others is second to none. Preston, you encompass the Navy core values of honor, courage, and commitment. You've made ROTC a better place, and we'll miss you. Congratulations, and good luck on your future endeavors. Fair winds and following seas. Thank you, sir, that was great. I will continue with our honor cadets. This award is an annual award to one cadet in each year group. These cadets must have distinguished themselves by outstanding achievement and sustained superior performance. They must exhibit exceptional military aptitude and dedication to the NJROTC program. This year's honor cadets, NS1 level, is Brianna Hale. The NS2 Honor Cadet, Nate Kelly. For NS3, that Honor Cadet is Zachary Sweat. And the NS4 is Aaron Jones, your Honor Cadets. Okay, that's awesome. Let's move on to Distinguished Cadet. This Distinguished Cadet Award is the highest local Senior Naval Science Instructor Award that can be given through the program. This is awarded annually to one cadet in each grade level, NS level, with the highest combined overall standing and aptitude, unit activities, including academics, homework, physical fitness, community service, and military drill. This year's, starting with Naval Science One, Distinguished Cadet, Allison Knupp. Your NS2 Distinguished Cadet, Cody McDonald. Distinguished Cadet at the NS3 level, Jonathan McKenzie. And your NS4 Distinguished Cadet, Jordan Ellis. Your NS1 through NS4 Distinguished Cadets. And I'd like to recognize another senior at this time. Cadet Haley Arnett. Cadet Arnett is our program's administrative officer. Unfortunately, we're losing her a year early, but deservedly so. Her early grad status is a result of her hard work and dedication on her part, not only to ROTC, but also to her studies as well. Her intentions are to follow in her family's footsteps and enter the military, Navy, I believe. I get confused because her brother went into the Army uh, and hope he's doing well. Uh, whatever path you choose, Haley, we know you'll succeed. You've been a stellar cadet who has certainly made her presence known, and we're really going to miss you. Good luck in your future endeavors, fair winds, and following seas. Right. Moving on to our next award, it's a new one this year. It's our Varsity Letterman Award. This award is presented to those that have completed NS1, 2, and 3. Those cadets are Zane Abshire, Chris Bellotta, Will Carnes, Jordan Ellis, Joey Fox, Mark Freeman, 
Nate Givens, Shane Hamrick, Jordan Hargett, Nate Kelly, Haley Lee, Cody McDonald, Jonathan McKenzie, Jonathan Ramsey, Nolan Sims, Ramsey Statham, Jacob Stickle, Zach Sweat, and Lucas Williamson being awarded their varsity letter. And now for the Cougar Navy Leadership Award. This is an important award to me. Um, leadership definitely goes above and beyond. Um, it's also, it's people that got out of their comfort zone, uh, which is not easy to do, as we all know. Um, that being said, there's, there's tons of, of, of leadership scenarios uh, in ROTC that you can tackle. Um, the people that I'm about to read uh, tackled a lot of them and uh, did so on a daily basis and uh, we're always volunteering, and um, as a result, uh, our Cougar Navy Leadership Awards go to Allison Knopp, Augustine Sarah Delgado, Chantel Chisholm, Jordan Hargett, Jordan Ellis, Aaron Jones, Nate Kelly, Allison Kennedy, Cody McDonald, Jonathan McKenzie, Jacob Stickle, and Zachary Sweat. Our Cougar Navy, Cougar Navy Leadership Award winners. And now I'd like to recognize another senior graduate. This time we'd like to recognize Jason Garza. Jason is another cadet who has been here from my day one. A man of little words, his actions spoke loud enough for all of us to realize that Cadet Garza was a dedicated teammate, an awesome driller, a program leader, and an outstanding all-around cadet. Always out to help others, Jason has been a cornerstone of this program since I've been here. Jason, we thank you for your continual commitment to this program throughout your four years and for sharing your knowledge and expertise with others to make this program a better place. Best of luck to you and your future, Jason. It is bright indeed. Congratulations, Garza. Fair wins and following seats. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you realize that you're not going to be able to get through this without some sort of message from me. Um, I miss being in the classroom. This is my opportunity. So listen, guys, for some of us, this pandemic has caused some out there to deal with issues of self-worth. You may not feel very good about yourself for various reasons. But you know, let me ask you this. What if I offered you this $20 bill? Would you take it? Of course you would. In fact, three or four of you just smacked your hand on your screen trying to grab it from me. But before I give it to you, you gotta know that it comes with a warning. While this $20 bill can be used for a lot of good, it can also be used for a lot of bad, maybe. Maybe this $20 bill was used to buy drugs. Maybe it caused an injury-inducing fight. Maybe it was even used to buy alcohol that ended up in a fatal car accident. Do you still want it? Yes, because it's still worth 20 bucks. But what if I took it and I tore it a little bit, crumpled it up, <clears throat> made it look gross, or ugly, or any other negative adjective you wanted to put on it. Would you still want it then? Of course, because a power higher than us gave it its value. And it doesn't lose value because of it. Ladies and gentlemen, the same is true for you. No matter what you've gone through, no matter what negative words people may say, you still hold your value. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has the right to try to devalue you, and please don't ever allow anybody to ever attempt to lower your value. It's your value, and God gave it to you, and you are amazing just as you are. Now, who wants this $20 bill? 
<laughs> nope, nope, this one's mine. Go get your own. Hoorah! Thanks, Chief. That was awesome. Thank you, sir. Now we're going to shift to external awards. We actually, we have, we're going to give less external awards. However, there's going to be more awardees. So there's going to be multiple awardees for different awards this year. We're going to start with the Lions Club. The Lions Club is the world's largest service organization with 46,000 clubs and 1.3 million members in 206 countries. Their projects include sight and hearing conservation, diabetes awareness and youth outreach programs. York has a Lions Club that purchases more than 50 eye exams and glasses each year. They also contribute to the, the Leader Dog program and help sponsor summer camps for children with vision disabilities. So this year's winners of the Lions Club Award are as follows. Aaliyah Curry. Jonathan McKenzie. Jordan Hargett. Maggie Billings. And those are our Lions Club Award winners. And now it's time to recognize another senior. At this point in time, I'd like to recognize Rachel Johnson. Rachel is one of those cadets that can do everything, but you never know it unless someone else tells you. Passionate, dedicated, intelligent, and humble. Those are just a few of the characteristics that Rachel has, not to mention that she is an amazing teammate to everybody. Cadet Johnson held almost every leadership position ROTC has to offer at one point in time. She is also one of the few cadets who committed to band as well as ROTC during her high school career. That level of commitment is not easy, but it speaks to Rachel's drive and determination in accomplishing her goals. Rachel will be attending Limestone College this fall to major in criminology and forensic science. With your attitude and fortitude, Rachel, you're guaranteed to succeed anywhere you go. Congratulations and best of luck. Fair winds and following seas. Thank you, sir. Yet another, another top-notch scene. So I'd, I'd like to move on to the Military Officers Association of America, MOAA, award. Military Officers Association of America boasts more than 425 chapters with a membership of over 370,000 since its founding in 1919. Their most important purpose is to represent the rights and interests of service retirees in state legislative matters. They also sponsor youth recognition programs to benefit the local community and provide assistance to members, their families, and survivors in time of need. They're dedicated to maintaining a strong national defense. Our Military Officers Association Award winners are Casey Frame, Joey Fox, Mark Freeman, and Zachary Sweat. Those are our M. OAA Award winners. Great job, guys. Moving on, shifting into the ROA or Reserve Officer Association. The ROA endorses and supports both senior and junior ROTC programs. The support of the junior ROTC program promotes citizenship and an appreciation of the military in our society. The Reserve Officers Association was formed to promote national security, and currently there are more than 550 chapters. Our Reserve Officer Association Award winners this year are Augustine Soa Delgado, Allison Canuck, Brianna Hale, Cody Mac 
Don Wolf. Diego Luna. Jordan Ellis. Lucas Williamson. And Xavier Murphy. These are your Reserve Officer Association Award winners. Okay, time to move on to another senior. And this one I know. Hmm. Next senior, Dean Halpin. Dean Halpin, my son. Dean came to this program along with me in 2017. He was a drill team and color guard fixture for the past three years, and early on found himself as a frequent color guard alternate, even when he didn't want to be, bailing us out more than a few times. Dean, you brought positive energy to this program for the, from the first time you stepped foot in the door, and you could light up a room as soon as you enter. I watched you grow into a young leader, and you probably didn't even realize it. Dean will be departing for Coast Guard boot camp in less than two months. Coast Guard will be getting a remarkable person, an outstanding leader, and an amazing shipmate. One who will set an example for others to follow for sure. Bravo Zulu son, I couldn't be more proud of you and your accomplishments as you move forward with this life-changing endeavor. Congratulations, best of luck, don't forget to call home, <laughs> fair winds and following seas. And now on to the Order of the Dedalians. The Order of the Dedalians was started in 1921 by General Billy Mitchell. They conduct educational, scientific, and charitable activities to promote patriotism, love of country, and memories of our nation's earliest military aviators. This year's winners for the Order of the Dedalians Award are Aaron Jones, Lucas Williamson, William Carnes, Xavier Murphy. Ladies and gentlemen, our Order of the Big Dalians winner. winners. Thank you, sir. Moving from the Dedalians to the National Sojourners. The National Sojourners was formed in 1900. They direct their efforts toward Americanism and Masonic activities. They promote national security and true love of country with a special emphasis on youth. The nearest National Sojourners is in the Fort Jackson chapter number 184. We have two award winners this year. Those award winners of the National Sojourners Award are Brianna Hale. and Cody McDonald, our two National Sojourners Award winners. <laughs> Moving on to the next award is the Scottish Rite. It's made available by the Supreme Council 33rd degree ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry headquartered in Washington, D.C. They are a service organization that contributes through youth scholarships, childhood language disorder clinics, patriotic programs, and many more projects that promote education and Americanism. The membership numbers, more than 500,000. Our two Scottish Rite Award winners for this year are Cody MacDonald, and Jordan Ellis, our Scottish Rite Freemasonry Award winners. Thanks, Chief. At this time, I'd like to recognize another senior. I'd like to recognize Taylor Canuck, our executive officer. 
Taylor has been in my class since I stepped foot in this door. Kind of odd to think of class without your presence, Taylor. Uh, but I know you're on to bigger and better things. Last we spoke, I believe you were on the fence between college or military, but rumor has it you're leaning towards military, towards Navy, I believe. Whatever decision you make, one thing is for sure. You'll succeed wherever you go. Your personality, enthusiasm, and sincerity in everything you do makes it impossible for you to do anything but great things. Thank you for your leadership and your dedication to this program. Congratulations and good luck. Fair winds and following seas. Now we'd like to move on to the Military Order of the World Wars Award. Founded in 1919, the Military Order of the World Wars is an organization of military officers that promotes patriotism, a love for our country, and patriotic education with emphasis on our country's youth. There are 120 chapters throughout the country. The closest chapter, chapter to us is located in Columbia, South Carolina. Recipients of this award must have demonstrated an understanding of patriotism and love for country, outstanding accomplishment of service, and a positive attitude towards the junior ROTC program. There are six recipients of this award this year, and they are as follows. Abigail Levake, Allison Knupp, Denny Davis, Jake McCollum, Nate Givens, and Zane Abshire. Ladies and gentlemen, our Military Order of the World Wars and World Wars for this year. All right, sir, thank you very much. We're going to shift over to the American Legion. The American Legion is a community service oriented organization that strives for and protects veterans benefits. It was started 100 years ago in 1919 and today there are more than 2.4 million members and 14,000 posts worldwide. They have consistently been supportive of our nation's youth by sponsoring baseball, oratorical and scouting scholarships to junior ROTC programs throughout the country. As is their custom, they are sponsoring two awards, the American Legion JOTC General Military Excellence Award and the American Legion Junior ROTC Scholastic Medal. The first award is going to be the American Legion Award for Military Excellence awarded to Jordan Ellis. And the American Legion Award for Scholastic Achievement goes to Allison Kennedy. Great job to our American Legion Award winners. Now let's move into the Navy League. The Navy League was founded in 1902 with the support of President Theodore Roosevelt. He used finances from the Nobel Peace Prize he earned by fostering peace between Japan and Russia. The Navy League supports all sea services, which includes the Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and the Merchant Marines. Currently, it boasts more than 50,000 members. The Navy League Youth Medal was established to honor those who best exemplify values of energy, spirit, competition, and fair play. This year's Navy League Award winners are Allison Knupp, Brianna Hale, Jordan Ellis, Nate Kelly, Xavier Murphy, Jonathan McKenzie. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2020 Navy League Award winners. And now I'd like to move on to our last senior graduate, Gracelyn Neal. 
our commanding officer. Our program's commanding officer. Graceland was thrusted into a leadership position from the first time she entered ROTC. She was able to find the perfect balance between being a great friend and teammate with, the, with, with that side of leadership that's tough, the one that no one likes, the one where doing the right thing or enforcing the rules is uncomfortable. Graceland, there were a lot of different leadership scenarios you encountered and handled during your time in ROTC. Some you remember and some you probably don't. I assure you that these experiences are going to put, a, put you a step ahead of others when entering the service. Graceland will be joining the U.S. Navy this summer, departing for boot camp in September. The Navy's gain and certainly our loss. Your vibrant and passionate personality, your integrity and drive to succeed will undoubtedly shine during your Navy career and beyond. Congratulations, CO. Best of luck, fair winds, and following seas. So as we continue now, first of all, we're going to do a recap of our Cadets of the Month before we move forward. As a reminder, I know it was different this year. We have a NS1 Cadet of the Month and an Upper Class Cadet of the Month. And that holds true for semester and of the year. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's recap the of the months. So for October, the NS1 Cadet was Chantel Chisholm. And the Upper Class Cadet of the Month was Rachel Johnson. As we moved into November, those two cadets changed the NS1 Cadet of the Month was Maggie Billings, and the upper class was Jordan Ellis. And thanks, Kevin came and went. We came in December, and as we went on break, those cadets that won the award in December for the NS1 was Brianna Hale, and the upper class Cadet of the Month was Cody McDonald. January, cold temperatures, welcome back. At the end of January, our two cadets of the month there, NS1 was Diego Luna, and the upper class cadet of the month was Zachary Sweat. And finally, we rolled into our last full month, which was February. Our NS1 cadet of the month was Jalen Nixon, and the upper class cadet of the month was Jacob Stickle. Awesome job to all our Cadets of the Months. So sir, I, this might be a good point to kind of talk about what's upcoming. We recap what was, maybe we can talk about what's coming up maybe this summer, because I tell you what, I know you, as well as I, we're ready to get these guys back in some way, shape, or form. There is nothing that we want more than to be barbecuing and playing kickball with you all, because we are way overdue for that. And we, and we get it. to throw a ball at you. And we get to throw balls at you. Yes. So, you know, dodgeball too. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'll tell you, we're, we're, in, the same, we're in the same position that, that you guys are. Um, you know, we wake up in the morning wondering what, if, you know, if we're going in the right direction uh, because everything's different. You know, our, our routines have changed. Um, ours, ours, you know, we know yours have, ours have too. Um, that being said, uh, we've got, we've got uh, as I had mentioned earlier, you know, we've got a, a district and school staff here that, that is not shy with information. When they get information, they're going to let us know. A lot of their information comes from their bosses above, right, the state. Um, when we know something, you guys are going to be the first to know. Um, we want you back in here. We want to come up with a summer schedule and, uh, and do all kinds of stuff. But we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Um, let's take one day at a time, one week at a time. Um, you know, we're going to throw this stuff in here now because we know that you're waiting on some, some final awards. But uh, we just wanted to say this piece now. Um, so, but we're here with you. Um, and we're going through the same thing that you all are. And, we, um, and we, uh, we're there for you. So, so you just talk one quick in. Yeah. So you all know I love color guards. And, and we want to be out and about anywhere we can as soon as Charlotte Knights kick off their season. We're still their opening day color guard. The Charlotte Panthers are going to be coming up. Guys, we're going to be out and about as soon as it's safe to and we're allowed to. So please, check out your uniform. Make sure it still fits, because apparently the coronavirus has a tendency to shrink materials as they hang. Um, but just be ready for that call. We're excited, and we want to get back doing this. Sir, I think you have our next level of awards. I do. 
mean, that would be the cadets of the semester. Cadets of the semester for semester one. Our NS1 is Brianna Hale, and our upperclassman is Jordan Ellis. And for semester two, our NS1 is Diego Luna, and upperclassman is Jonathan McKenzie. All right, sir, thank you very much. If I could play the drums, I'd have a drum roll. What we have left is, quote unquote, the big ones. We have our NS1 Cadet of the Year and the overall Cadet of the Year. Shall we start with the NS1, sir? Permission to announce the Cadets of the Year. If you don't mind, I'm gonna use the head first. I will take a break. Oh, I get it. Oh, that was quick. Just kidding. All right, sir. Our Naval Science One Cadet of the Year is Allison Canuck. And our overall YCHS NJOTC Cadet of the Year is none other than Jordan Ellis. Sir, what a year. My, my first year here, couldn't ask for a better group of cadets, a better boss, and a better upper, upper echelon. Oh, we, couldn't have asked for, we couldn't have asked for a better chief. Thank you, sir. There you go. At this point, I say it's about time for us to march on out. Ladies and gentlemen, looking forward to next year.